I think that in order to achieve anything in the long term, you have to be consistent. And if I look back over the past 20 years of training, it's when I have been consistent that I have been able to make progress that I wasn't able to make when, when I would, you know, just practice, you know, once every couple of weeks mm -hmm. and then go and try to sing something. It just doesn't work that way. Even to this day, if I take a few weeks off, I cannot sing certain songs that I can sing when my voice is in shape. Wow. And so it's, it's, it's consistency that's just so essential. And I think that that applies completely to gospel living. I think it was Elder Bednar or someone that says that, you know, it, it's better to be consistent than then just throw out short bursts of energy and then just like take five years off the gospel. And I think that that's why the Lord invites us to make and keep covenants because he's inviting us to be consistent at aligning our lives with his will. We all sooner or later have to make the conscious choice Okay, what do I really want? And to make the choice to be to make covenants, to keep them, to be consistent at trying to align our will with the Lord. And when we fall short or slip up or fall off the path or do a double backflip off the path, <laughs> whatever it is, thankfully there's repentance and, and there is the gift of forgiveness and the grace that we're able to receive. And so it's that consistency of turning to the Lord. I think that that's, that's absolutely essential in in order to enjoy the blessings of the God that the blessings that the Lord has to give us. Mm -hmm.